sorry. Like, oh, oh, oh. Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I have a box and in this box is a 100cc engine for a mountain bike. This is as far as I opened it so I actually don't know exactly what's in here but I ordered this off eBay and it said 100cc engine for a bike which sounded obscenely fun so that's what i got so we need to get this open we're going to fit it to the old original free bike challenge bike that did actually have an engine on it once and this one didn't break so i think this is a perfect bike for it actually when this did have an engine it never worked properly and was always bogging down so hopefully this can be the dream petrol bicycle so let's get into it we're going to start with some tools then Here's the engine then. Sick. 100cc of ultimate fun. Right, we'll just get straight to work then. We've got this little bag here of goodies, which has the throttle in and stuff like that. So let's get that in. This is a little bit of a faff fitting all the throttle cables, but it's almost done. Throttle is on. Well, good. We'll just leave that all loose right now because you've got some more bits to work out where they're all going to go. The clutch. This is what will engage and disengage the power of this motor on this crazy bike. What next then? I think it's the carb. That just goes on there. Nice. Carb on. We're now going to fit the clutch cable. That goes through this little part in there, hidden away. Then we just tighten this up and... Bob's your uncle, you have a clutch cable fitted. Now we're going to fit the fuel tank so I can sort of lock in the cables in the right position. That's the fuel tank fitted then. Now we're going to fit this, which is some sort of box that powers the motor in some way. Once it's running, it will probably tell it how to like go and stuff. Oh, wait. Hello? Oh, yeah. Oh, no way. That's so cool. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll be there ASAP. I just got like a sick delivery. I've got to go and pick it up. So it's going to take a little while, but let me get out of here. I'll come back and then we can carry on building the bike. All right, a few hours later and I've picked up some fresh hopper ramps. I've got an Area 51 and a Pro. We're not gonna use them right now though, but I had to get them picked up. So expect to see some hopper ramp action in the future. Right, let's continue building this bike. Here we go, this is a spark plug. Now I've got this little tube here, which is um, a straw. So when you like wanna crack monies and that, you can just, oh no, it's not. It's for the fuel tank. And then that connects onto the carb here. I've now got my cables connected. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but we'll leave that like that for now. We now need to put an exhaust on. That would actually be helpful. Dreamy, look at that. Epic. Coming into the finishing touches. Now I'm gonna put on this brake lever. The weird thing about these bikes is that you have to have the clutch on the same side. I'm now gonna try and put on the chain. Boom chain on see that that's gonna go on there and then i can just sit that there and it will keep the chain perfectly tensioned the whole time here we go we got a little front wheel for it then this is a old halo 4xr wheel bike is done look at that so sick my 100 cc engine has been fitted and it is ready for a shreddy but we're running out of daylight. So I'm gonna get it fueled up. We're gonna get out of here and head into tomorrow. So let's get out of here. It's now the next day and we have some glorious sunshine ready for the shreddy session on this beast. I'm actually just gonna start things off by blasting down here as fast as possible, actually. <laughs> The beast works, but it's got some sort of, it's the same like the other one, to be honest. I thought it was gonna be well good, cause it's new. It's still bogging on the full power. 
and it doesn't tick over. Obviously I've tried adjusting the screw here on the car, but whatever I do, it doesn't change it, which is really annoying. Uh, maybe it just needs running in some more. I'm now actually just gonna do a little wheelie down here, see if it's possible. Of course, it's got a weird positioning here of the clutch and the back brake isn't that good, but let's see if I can make it happen. Oh. It's really hard because it's not working properly so it won't tick over and if I just let off the throttle a little bit it then stalls itself so I've got to come in a bit quicker and try and wheelie at some speed then and it might actually work. <laughs> a good burn there now. Well, if only this beauty would work properly, it'd be way more fun. I was just riding back to the van to go to the next spot and it started getting louder and then <laughs> the exhaust snapped itself off. I didn't even hit it. It's just so cheap that it's snapped off, which is annoying. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so loud. Look, you can just see straight into the engine. Luckily, I have an old exhaust at home that I cut the end off. So we're going to quickly put that on so nothing gets stuck in here. And then we'll try another spot. So let's get out of here, Lubes. All right, we've just come home and I've grabbed that old exhaust pipe that I had on one of the bikes before. It actually didn't work on the bike I used it on before, but on this, there's actually no choice left because the other bikes are gone now so it has to work boom there we go that looks way sicker it's going to be so loud though but that's what we enjoy sorry neighbors right let's get out of here and <laughs> let's get out of here and test this thing now then We've now come to the local bowl because it will be kind of like a bit of a trail that I can blast around and it will be so noisy. So here we go. Dropping. <laughs> Let's just do one where I go round in a circle around you there because it'll be well funny. <laughs> That's the best. Oh my god. Well, I don't think the locals are going to take too kindly to all that noise, so let's put it in the van and go, Lubes, quick. Just found a sick new trail to test the noise of this beast on. Oh, 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 so good. Into this new bit. Oh, a bit of a cut out, back on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh my God. This thing's so hard to ride. That tiny little trail is quite fun though. This is, it's a challenge. But that's why it's actually becoming really fun because it's way harder to ride than the last one and it's so loud <laughs> right let's go and find another spot lubes we've come to the worst track ever but there's a cool like grass bank here that i think i can just sort of almost sort of table over into that kind of berm there Oh, 
Oh, mate. There's so much. I still have to pedal and full throttle and it's not doing anything. It's just, well, it's actually quite a favourable thing of mine, just making loads and loads of noise. I think we've already outstayed our welcome. There's houses all around. Let's find one finale banger for this thing. We're now at the finale of the day. Look how much fun it looks. A yellow, a yellow brick road. <laughs> that is a yellow brick road. And you follow that to your dreams and excitement. And that's what I'm gonna do because the bike, it's cool. Like, I'm really like happy that we made this from scratch ourselves, but it really isn't working as we hoped. I need some sort of, maybe like a mechanic, someone that actually knows something other than like how to do flips and 360s and stuff. But we're gonna finish off with a little blast down here, making noise in this very urban environment. So it's gonna be a quick do, do and do one. Um, so yeah, let's get up there. I'll start this beast up and I'll blast that stair set of doom. Let's. So loud. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what a finale. Wow. <laughs> that is real good. That is scary because then when the motor kicks in, it sort of pushes you down the stairs even faster. But this has been fun. But I actually way prefer just buying them ready made because then they were ready to go straight away. You don't get any issues with it and building it did take a long time. So what I've learned from this is if you're gonna buy one of these off Amazon or eBay, just make sure you know about engines and stuff because that needs a lot of tweaking now to get it running perfectly. But if you wanna see it more, let me know in the comments and I'll get someone to sort it out. But on that bombshell of excitement, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and it'd be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one. Till the sky.